Hi everyone, um, thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to share something that was pretty cool. If anyone's interested, um, we're in the non commodity scriptures and I'm in the text of Melchizedek. Um, on page 601, on the bottom here, we read about the true Adam and Eve. And within this little passage, we actually get um, confirmation of what's in the diaries of Adam and Eve that Cain and Abel were children of the Archons and not exactly human. And so that's really amazing that we could get scriptural confirmation uh, to help verify the diaries of Adam and Eve. But this passage is actually really cool because it's a lot deeper than what it seems on the surface. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so we're starting right here. And, you know, of course, the non commodity scriptures are talking about really this, uh, more of the spiritual, what is above rather than what is below, and how they um, intersect together and intertwine together. So here we go. But this is not the true Adam or the true Eve, for when they ate from the tree of knowledge, they trampled upon the cherubim and the seraphim with the flaming sword. Now, that is a really deep scripture to meditate on. We know after Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge, they were banished from the Garden of Eden um, by the cherubim, by a flaming sword. So we reap what we sow. So spiritually, eating from the tree of knowledge was really trampling upon the cherubim and the seraphim with a flaming sword. Now the cherubim, you know, we know these are angels. I don't really know much about cherubim, but the seraphim are the uh, serpents. This is why uh, you know, in Isaiah, we have seraphim uh, described in the throne of God in the book of Isaiah. And the he Hebrew scribes really don't, they leave that word seraphim because it means serpent. And people get really confused why are there are serpents around the throne of God. But we learn in Nag Hammadi scriptures that the serpent below here on earth causes fire, persecution, and tribulation. But the serpent above means redemption. It means salvation. So we receive our salvation through our persecutions and all that kind of stuff. Um, we receive our heavenly glory through our persecutions. That's why there are serpents uh, around the throne of God that we read of in the book of Isaiah. So that that's really cool. So these are really deep scriptures to meditate on um, that are deeper than what they seem on the surface. So... All right, let's continue. You have to pardon me. I'm, I am highly harassed. And um, our local friendly helicopters say hi. Say hi. Yes, master. Yes, master. Okay. Whatever you say, everything you say is correct. Whatever you make me think must be true. Okay, so let's continue. So now we're getting into the depths of the diaries of Adam and Eve. The world ruler and his archons met the bride of Adam. So when we read the footnote, um, we read that this is Eve. Eve was the bride of Adam who was with him. Okay, so this will take us into the accounts of the, re the reality of the rulers or the nature of the rulers and the origin of the world of the account of Adam and Eve in the garden from those two texts in the Nag Hammadi scriptures. So it tells us that when Eve was talking to Adam, the archons, you know, the fallen angels and stuff got very jealous and they defiled her. And but and then it says she she left a shadow of herself, turned into a tree and laughed at them. So this is a mystery to what we read of in Malachi 2. Um, what happens, you know, because it's, it's the devil's way. They just want to rape and uh, pollute everything. That's all they practically know. So what the scripture is telling us is confirming a revelation. And it's such in a nonchalant way. Let's read it again. The world ruler and his archons, excuse me, met the bride of, of Adam who was with him and they were polluted by her so we have that revelation from what we read of when eve laughed at them when when they raped her she she went up to a higher heaven and all that kind of stuff turned into a tree so when by they polluting her 
she ended up polluting them that's what this is telling us and that's because we're living in this time now it's no different than it was uh way back then so they're just really polluting themselves because you know the serpent satan only sees with one eye and can't see past his one nose sex is their god making babies is their god and they can't really see past anything else so in their attempt to pollute they themselves will be polluted so that's really amazing after they now this is the kicker after they begotten offspring of the archons with their cosmic influence those who belong to and it's fragmented but this confirms that yes they impregnated eve through that and this would likely be uh, the conception of Cain and Abel as we read of in the diaries of Adam and Eve a very controversial doctrine that not even much of the apocrypher gets into but this indeed is a confirmation so just a really amazing passage I'm sorry it, you know it's separated by pages I can't just snapshot it and put it on the screen but if anyone's interested a uh, really cool thing to meditate on and feast on so all right thank you for tuning in um, there's a lot I would like to say. Maybe I'll make another video. But, uh, okay. God bless you.